Hello everyone, welcome to topic of the day. In today's edition, we shall be discussing about the subcategorization of other backward classes. We will look into a brief background and why was there a need for the subcategorization of the backward classes. Now, this has recently come up in news in context of union government extending the tenure of the Rohini Commission. The Rohini Commission was to examine the subcategorization of other backward classes and this was headed by Justice Rohini. Now, let us look into brief background of the issue. So, in the year 2017, the Rohini Commission was constituted under... Now, the Article 340 says that President can form commission for the welfare of the backward classes. So, this commission was constituted to examine the issues relating to the subcategorization of other backward classes and therefore it took charge in October 2017 with the tenure of 12 weeks ending January 2018. But since then, it has been given extension a lot of times. Now, the Rohini Commission was mandated to check the extent of inequitable distribution of reservation amongst the OBCs. So, to examine this, they did data analysis in the year 2018 of around 1.3 lakh central jobs. And in this data analysis, they found that there was inequitable representation of the OBCs of reservation. Now, as a result of this data analysis of 2018, the Rohini Commission found that 25% of the benefits from OBC reservations have been availed by only 10 subcasts. Further on, 983 communities, that is the 37% of the total, have zero representation in jobs and educational institutes. And further on, 994 OBC subcasts have a total representation of only 2.68% in the recruitment. Now, another thing to consider is that in the present scenario also, half of these 1900 odd castes have availed less than 3% of the reservation both in job and education, and the rest availed zero benefits during the last five years. So, there was a need felt for the subcategorization of OBCs. Now, National Commission for Backward Classes, the NCBC, also recommended subcategorization in the year 2011. Therefore, the Rohini Commission is working out the mechanism as per scientific approach for the subcategorization of OBCs. Now, let us look into a brief historical timeline of the issue. So, in the year 1979, the Mandal Commission or which was also known as the Second Backward Classes Commission was set up to identify socially or educationally backward classes. Now, the government of India uses the term OBC that is the other backward class that is specifically for socially or educationally disadvantaged groups. So, what happened was the Mandal Commission gave its report in the year 1980 and said that there were 52% OBCs in the country. It further recommended a 27% reservation. Now, one thing to consider here is that the Mandal Commission took the caste census data of 1931. Further on, in the year 1990, there was announcement of 27% quota in public sector jobs and colleges. And here, specifically, Article 16, Clause 4, talks about reservation in favour of the backward classes. Again, in the year 1992, there was Indra Sani versus Union of India case where the concept of creamy layer came in. Also, there was a 50% ceiling that was introduced in reservations. So, this was in the Indra Sahani case. Again, in the year 2018, the 102nd Constitutional Amendment Act provided the constitutional status to National Commission for Backward Classes. Earlier, the NCBC was just a statutory body and now it was given a constitutional status. We will briefly look into the National Commission for Backward Classes a bit further. So, in the current scenario, the scheduled caste or scheduled tribe communities have a 22.5% reservation. OBCs have a 27% reservation and the members of economically weaker section of society, EWS, have a 10% reservation. Now, let us discuss on some of the challenges in the implementation. First of all, it can hurt the dominant OBC groups and therefore can create agitation. Secondly, it is a challenge to develop a perfect methodology for the sub-categorization of OBCs. Now, in the year 2021, the Rohini Commission proposed to divide the 27% OBCs into four subcategories. 
with 2, 6, 9 and 10% respectively. Further on, there will be implications of caste in the social, economic and political spheres. Most importantly, there is lack of availability of, most importantly, there is a lack of availability of complete information regarding the social and educational backwardness of various castes and the state-wise variation of a particular caste. Moreover, the vote bank politics is also a major cause of concern in this particular scenario. Now let us talk about the National Commission for Backward Classes. So it was formed in the year 1993 and it is a five member body. Previously there was a National Commission for Scheduled Castes and Scheduled Tribes which was split into two different commissions that is the National Commission for Scheduled Caste and National Commission for Scheduled Tribe by inserting article 338A. Now the article 338A states that there will be special officers for both scheduled castes and scheduled tribes. Further on when we talk about the National Commission for Backward Classes, this can only recommend the inclusion and exclusion of caste from the OBC list and also the level of income that cuts off the creamy layer. Now there was one 23rd constitutional amendment bill that introduced and was passed as the 102nd Constitutional Amendment Act which provided constitutional status to the National Commission of Backward Classes earlier which was a statutory body. So there were two articles, Article 338B and 342A. The first one is to examine complaints and welfare measures regarding socially and educationally backward classes. Another was the Article 342A which empowers the president to specify socially and educationally backward classes in various states and the union territories. If we further talk about the functions, it was to inquire into specific complaints, advising and making recommendations, also to present the annual report to the president and it also has the powers of a civil court. So this was a little bit about this topic, subcategorization of OBCs. Let us take up one practice question on this topic. Justice G. Rohini Commission was recently seen in news. It is related to which of the following? Tax reforms in India, railway restructuring, public distribution system or subcategorization of OBCs. You can write your answers in the comment section below. So as you know, the correct answer is option D. That is Justice Rohini Commission is related to subcategorization of OBCs. So correct answer is option D. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you liked the video. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.